<laughs> All right, everyone Are say you hello, hello to your parents. Hello, parents. Hello. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi, parents. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> notation of your limits. Notation. Now, there, this is a notation for the limits coming from both sides, okay? From both sides. So if you don't have printed notes, take out line paper. Here we go. The limit of f of x, okay? as x approaches some value, let's call it c, equal to some value, let's call it l. Now this is, I'm going to spell out a lot of stuff for you, okay? This is how we read it. This is how it's read. The limit, just like what I just said, but I'm spelling it out for you. The limit of f of x equals, well, I'm out of space there, so let's go down in the bottom, equals L as X is getting closer. To what value? C. Okay. That's sort of how it's read. Now, what is C? Anybody can think of what I guess? Yeah, C is a constant. Where C belongs in the set of all row number. And what's L? L. Okay. Let me kind of spell it out in, in normal language. L is the height. L is the height, the function is approaching. Okay, notice how I'm not using it, it equals, it's approaching as X is getting closer to C. So notice that I'm not using the word equal, I'm using the word approaching, getting closer. Now, bless you. If f of x is continuous, that means it shouldn't have any holes, so no holes, no asymptotes. and no jumps. We will have jumps later, okay? If it's continuous, then here's a formula for your limits. And the limit of whatever function it is equals, as x approaches c, is the same exactly as if I were to find f of c. <clears throat> so here's a limit <coughs> formula if this function is continuous. We haven't seen jumps yet. We will have jumps functions. Okay. We have seen asymptotes. We've seen holes. When do we get a hole? Yeah, when your rational functions can cancel. When do we get asymptotes? When the denominator is undefined. You're right. Okay. All right, so let's practice. Here we go. Use the graph below to estimate the limit and the value of the function. Let's do B first, because B is an algebra sort of question. So the graph is your function. Y equals F of H. H is your input. Y is your output. B. We're going to do B first. F of 0. What's your final answer? B first. What's F of 0? What does that really mean in plain English? What am I looking for? When x is zero, what's y? Yeah, when x, well in this case, when your input is zero, which is h, right? When the input is zero, what's your output? So what's your output? Negative four. Okay, it's negative four. Perfect. Okay, so now, are, would you agree that this is just an algebra method, algebra view? Okay. A, what's that one? That's your K. 
calculus view. Okay. Find the limit of f of h. What is f of h? What's f of h? Is this function, right? As h is getting closer and closer to, to zero. Okay. So what that means is this is coming from both sides. That means I'm coming from the right. What's happening when h is getting closer and closer to zero? What's the height? It's going down. It's going down. What's the height? Down to what? Negative four. Okay. So this one is negative four, which matches our definition of above. Is this function continuous? Do you see any holes in it? Do you see any asymptotes in it? There's no jumps right now. Okay. So continuous means can you sketch it from left to right without lifting up your pencil? Right now, that's yes. Okay. So because it is the limit as x approaches zero, it's just simply f of zero by definition. Okay. Now let's review your polynomial and rational functions. One of it's continuous and one of it isn't. Okay. Polynomial is your it's smooth and continuous. And that will make it easy for us to find your limits. So let me just remind you of your formula, a general polynomial function. So f of x equals to a subscript n times x to the nth plus, oops, minus 1, a subscript n minus 1 times x to the power n minus 1 plus, skip a few, plus a subscript 1 times x and a subscript 0. Uh, just the word polynomial just means what? Poly means many terms, but this has many terms. So let's, uh, I, what's a subscript n, a subscript n minus 1, a subscript 1, a subscript 0, what are those? Those are what? I heard it. Oh. Yeah, they're just coefficients, right? Negative pi, pi. Is that a coefficient? Sure, right? 100. So all the a's where a subscript n, a subscript n minus 1, dot, 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 a1, a0 are coefficients, right? Now, how about these guys on the top? What are those guys? What are those? Exponents, right? Right now, it's written in order from biggest to, to what? Smallest, right? So my highest power is n. So that means this is going down and down and down. What power is this one? One, and what power is this guy? Uh-uh. Zero, because this is x, this is just a constant. So this doesn't have any variable x. Do you guys agree? Right. So now what's the limit for that? Here's the formula. When if it's continuous and smooth, then the limit is limit of this function, which is called f of x. As x approaches c, it's simply just repeating the one before, which is simply what? f of c. Okay. Because polynomials are smooth and continuous, all smooth and continuous, the calculus view or the calculus format is the same thing as algebra. Now this is where it's not fun. It's when you have a rational function. Rational function, continuous or none? None. Okay. So r of x is what we use for rational it's equal to p of x divided by q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials. And q of x can never ever be what? q of x can never ever be zero. Okay. Now, r of x is usually 
not continuous at q of x equals to goes away. Zero bell. Because that's when we find the holes or the asymptotes and things like that. And now let me remind you. I don't have a formula for rational functions like I would with a polynomial. Rational functions are going to be, uh, it's going to vary. Okay, so this is key. Determine the following limits. I'm going to slow down a little bit because I know not all of us have printed notes. Yet. Anybody who was not able to print notes out, like you didn't take canvas, wasn't connected? How do you guys bring it out? Every hand was connected. Oh, 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 past courses. So yeah. it's like all courses, and yeah. you can go backwards. Okay. Can you still see stuff from like a few years ago? Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Can you see like assignments and grades and everything? Yeah. Yeah. What? Ah, okay, good to know. Next, determine the following limits. Okay, here we go. How would you read A? Raise your hand if you can read A to me. What would that say? Raise your hand. Who knows how to read A? Find, find what? The limit? Oh. As, yep, that's a negative half. Let me stop. Right? So find the limit of 3x squared times the quantity 2x minus 1 as x approaches negative what? A half. Okay. Now look at this function right here. Oh, I didn't mean to cross that out. I meant to highlight it. Okay, there you go. Continuous or non continuous? It's a polynomial. Would you guys agree? So that should be continuous. If it's continuous, how do you think we... Yeah, guess what, y'all? Substitute it. Substitution. Substitution is the method. Okay? So here we go. 3 times negative half square times a quantity of 2 times negative half. Minus 1. All right, multiply that out. Give me your answer. What is the height getting closer and closer to? Once you have an answer, share one number. Do you all have? Oh, they, they said they can be done with the uh, construction department. Oh, yay. So the part they don't know that. I know. I hope. Yeah. Right, y'all, what's your final answer? Negative three. Negative three divided by two? Yeah. Okay. So that means the height is getting closer and closer to negative 3 halves as x is getting closer and closer to negative 1 half. Okay. B. Okay, here we go. Same thing. Find the limits for y squared plus 5y plus 6 divided by y plus 2 as y is getting closer and closer to what? Negative 2. All right. Should we plug it in again? Yeah, let's try. What? You don't say. Negative 2 squared <laughs> plus 5 times 2 plus 6. Sorry, my pen sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Okay. Negative 2 plus 2. Did substitution work? No, okay. Substitution failed. Did not work. Okay, now what? What do you do? Because it's not a ra it's not a polynomial, it's a rational. What are you gonna do now to find the limits? 
Give up? No. You'll pick out honors. Can't do that. Oh, yeah. Good news. You're going to have a solution. <laughs> What's next? Guess? Give me your guess answer. <laughs> Three. Three. Negative two and a half. Okay. When substitution when substitution doesn't work, you might want to factor and cancel. What are the two factors are? Oops, this is a three. Okay. X plus two times the quantity, not x, y. Y plus two times the quantity y plus three all over y plus two. Can I cancel? Yes, see? So <laughs> guys, the limit of your original is equivalent to this. So now can I substitute? Yes. Yes. Because I can take negative two. I'm gonna add three. So the answer is one. one. Okay. So the height is going to get closer and closer and closer to 1 as the y value is going to get closer and closer to negative 2. Mm -hmm. You can just write your answer like that, right? You That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just box that up. Okay. <clears throat> now, limit has right hand and left hand limits. Okay, so let's spell out those definitions. Internet must be slow today. It's like it takes forever for me to. Right hand limit. Here is the notation, okay? Limit of f of x equals L as x approaches. This is a small x under the limit. I write so big, okay? C, and then there's a plus sign. And this is how we read this stuff, okay? This is red. The limit of f of x as x approaches C from the Guess where it's approaching from? From the right. Okay. And then guess what the difference is between right and left? Right, what's the difference? That's right. It's approach to C from the negative, right? It can equal to L, it can equal to whatever you want it equal to, okay? So we'll leave the equal sign um, length right now. So this, the second one is read, the limits of f of x of x approaches c. If you see a, a negative, like x approaches 2, and then there's a negative, that means it's coming from the left side. Now, when do you, or when would you have two-sided limits? Okay. Limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. If and only if, what does that mean? IFF means if and only if, right? Here we go. This is the rule. The limit of the right and left must be exactly the, the same. The limit of the right side has to equal to the limit of the left side. So for you to have a two-sided limit, this is the rule. What if the right and the left are not equal? Then would you have a two-sided limit? No. Um, three, compare. Complete part A, B, C, and okay. Why don't you draw it out first for me? Do you remember how to graph this out? Okay, in your teams, talk it out. 
Did you guys introduce yourselves already? Get to know one another. So in teams, can you work together to graph your f of x? So Chanel, sketch out A. Compare your answers. Convince your partner that you're better at graphing this out than they are. Okay, once you're done, can you compare? The three of you or the two of you should have identical graphs since there's only one function. Okay, compare your graph. Are they identical? Do you have holes, by the way? Yeah. Is this continuous or discontinuous? Dis. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to pick. When x is 2, okay, when x is 2, my first hole is 3 minus 2 is what? 1, okay, so 2, and then I need to pick less than, so I'm going to pick 1. When x is 1, what's the output? 2, when x is 0? 3, okay, that's enough. Where's my ruler? That's that left side. Then I'll pick two again. Um, when I pick two, there's another hole at where? Two, two, okay, sounds good. Then I need to pick numbers that are bigger than two, like four. When x is four, what's the output? Three, four, and three, and then six would be what? Four, okay. All right, beautiful. Oh, it just hit ruler, and my ruler pops up. Okay. Perfect. We answer part A. Part B says, determine the limit. Okay. Are you all right, Ryan? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Determine the limits of f of x. Read this for me. What is that saying? approaches to... From the right. From the right. Okay. As X approaches from the right. What does it mean by from the right? From the right to the left. Ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. From the right to the left. Ah! From the right means I'm going towards what direction? Just like coming from the west. That means I'm really going towards what? East. All right. On your finals, it says coming from the west. Okay, now I'm coming from the right. Coming from the right, that means I'm going towards the left. As x is creeping towards value of 2 from the right, what is your height approaching? 2. Okay. So limit of f of x as x is getting closer to 2 from the right, the final answer is 2. Now, the limit of f of x as x is getting closer to 2 from the left. left. That means I have to switch sides. Now, what's the height approaching? 
one, right? Remember, there's a hole. That means it doesn't exist. But the value of limit is what is getting closer and closer to. So guess what? This answer is one. C for cat. Does the limit of f of x exist at two? No. Why not? It doesn't have to be with a hole. Why not? The definition of limits, right? For it to exist, left and right must be exactly the same. No, because left and right limits are not the same. Okay, this is probably the most common mistake. If I'm asking for you to find the right-hand limit, you're going to go towards what? Yeah. The left. Okay, vice versa. So be very cautious. All right, four. We may not finish four. Let's see how far we get. Mm, we're good. Okay. Here we go. Which of the following statements are true about the function? Y equals f of x. Okay. Which ones are false? Thanks, Aiden. All right. I'm going to focus on just the first two because it's hard to see, especially if you don't have to know. It's hard to see um, the plus signs and the minus signs, the right and left. All right. Go ahead and copy these down. Just the first two for right now. And then if you already happen to note, why don't you and your partner converse? Be like, hey, just A and B right now. <coughs> Oh, D and E means, guess what it means? Does not exist. Uh, that's right. That is a plus sign. Very good. <laughs> All right. Letter A says find the limit of your function as x is approaching negative one from what side? The right. The right. That means you're heading towards the left. Which one's the right? Raise your right hand. All right, good. <laughs> now, get closer and closer to negative one for me. What's the height? So that's true or false? True, true right? So here we go. I'm going to start here. Okay. I'm going to keep walking over. All right? So that means this is the height of your function. So this is true. Next, B, find the limits of your function. My answer says does not exist when x is approaching 2. True or false? As x is approaching 2, the limit does not exist. Raise your anything is false. Raising anything is true. Okay, what's the answer if it's true? <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. Okay, so what's the limit as I'm coming from the right hand side? The limit if I'm coming from the right hand side as x approaches 2. What's the limit? It's one. Okay, so this guy gets one. How about if I'm coming from the left hand side? Also, one. What, what does a dot above it? What does that dot do? What, is a, what does it mean to have that dot right there? Remember, is the limit, does the limit have to exist for does a value have to exist for the limit to exist? No, right? 
this right here, this dot right here is saying this. What is f of 2? What was your answer be? It's 2. That's algebraic, right? Limits is different. Limits is what the height is getting closer to as the value of x is getting closer to it. Technically, there's no value at, at 2 comma 1. Would you guys agree? But what is it getting closer and closer to? So this one, right and left, are exactly the same. So does it exist? Yeah, so this is false. If it's false, they said, give me the answer. So what's your real answer? Remember, my green guy, right? His height is getting closer and closer to? Right. The red guy, the height to also one. Left and right are exactly the same, so the limit is at two. Okay, C. True or false? Is true? Isn't C kind of related to B? And we just solved it. The limit should have been what? One. Remember, this right here is really what? Algebra or limits? This is algebra, right? So this is false. D for dog. If you can't see that, that's a, a what? A negative. So think about it, you and your partner. Talk it out. True or false? If it's false, tell me the real answer. Remember, as x is getting closer and closer to 1, coming from what direction? The left. What is the height getting closer and closer to? So true or false? True, right? It's getting closer to 2. E, true or false? E is, if you can't see that, is that a plus sign or minus sign? A plus, okay. So as x is getting closer to 1 from the right side, the height is getting closer and closer to 1 as well. Mine's for, I'll wait for it to allow me to pinch it. True or false on E? So as x is getting closer and closer to, well, is that a plus sign? That's a plus sign, okay. Right? And y is? 1, right? Is that value? So that's true. Next one, true or false? It doesn't exist at 1. True or false? True, because wouldn't that relate to D and E. Are those two values the same? No, so this is true. G. Is that true? Yeah. Is X approaching zero, both sides, left and right, identical? Yes, so that's true. Oh, H and I. Find C, right? But find the limit of f of x <coughs> as x approaches t. And this has any c in between non inclusive, negative 1 to non inclusive, positive 1. So you can do it out. So the limit exists anywhere in between negative 1 and 1. Just negative 1, right? Positive one. If I'm coming from left and right, any single point in between those two, not including endpoints, will have the limit. Yeah. Because yeah. would you agree that from here to here is continuous? That's right. So if it's continuous, you will have. Okay. How about the last one? Now I'm looking for from one to three. It's not continuous, we know that much, but do we still have the limit? Yeah. Even though this is not, it's discontinuous, but guess what? The right and left are exactly the, the same. So guess what, that's also true. That concludes our day.